Hey, White Squirrel here with a quick walkthrough of the uh, burner design that I use. This one's kind of a mishmash of a bunch of different styles I've seen throughout the years. And uh, this has been the setup I've been going to uh, for a little while now. Uh, for my forge, um, my furnace to melt metal in, pretty much everything. Um, so this is basically what it looks like in a nutshell. I got a three quarter inch pipe. Inside you can see the nozzle, the injection nozzle. So this is basically just a coupler, quarter inch pipe. And I have two plugs on either end. One of them has my injection nozzle and the other one on the other side is drilled and tapped for my threaded rod, which is my choke. With all my plugs, I drill and tap to whatever size I need. Uh, the MIG welding tip is an M6, um, but if you try to center punch the outside and drill it from, from the back end, the flat end, uh, usually it's really hard to get a centered hole. And like I mentioned, if you don't have your nozzle centered directly down your pipe, then it won't burn very well. So, best way to fix that is you drill from the inside with a drill press. It centers itself and you can easily tap and no problem there. I've sealed the threaded rod inside with some Loctite. Um, and you can see here on the side of this coupler, I've drilled a 1 8 pipe hole and I've tapped that for the input line. No, it's just a quarter inch uh, shut off ball valve that goes into it from the side. And I found this really frees up the back end to have a quick, quick way to open and close my choke in the back without losing any extra parts. Then I have my three screws throughout this mechanical fitting, one and a half inch, just to hold this nozzle and to center it. That was the trickiest part is having it right in the center. If it if the jet hits the wall of the pipe at all, then I find it doesn't give you that heat you need uh, to melt the metal efficiently and uh, kind of starts distorting the pipe and uh, back getting heat throughout the assembly. So, nice simple design. Doesn't take me very long to put it together. And I've got a bunch of these with different injection nozzles depending on what I'm burning. I use an 025 welding tip for aluminum. I use 035 for brass and copper. And eventually if I'm going to try to do cast iron, I might go up to 045. Regulator is an acetylene regulator. I just put a regular propane quick connect nozzle on one end and I put a propane hose on the other end for a burner I already had. And it, it adapts to a JIC fitting. As for installing it inside of the furnace, about as easy as it can be. My two inch refractory inside does a good job at holding the pipe in. But depending on the size of the crucible I have, I try to get the flame to jet pretty much in the middle or on the bottom half. So to get my nozzle wherever I need it, I just use leftover pieces of this ceramic wool and shim the pipe up, shim the pipe down. It creates a nice seal and we're good to go.